Today I've got another Yoto video for you guys. I have gotten this exact question over and over so many times on my YouTube channel and even over on Instagram, and that is, what are our favorite Yoto cards? If you are familiar with the Yoto player, it is a screen-free audio player for kids, and I have two review videos on my channel. You can go check those out under the playlist called Yoto. If you've clicked on this video and you have no clue what a Yoto player is, make sure you go watch those videos first so you can get up to date with what a Yoto player is. But if you've clicked on this video, I'm going to assume that you already either have a Yoto player or are looking into getting one and you want to know about the Yoto cards. These are Yoto cards. They are what holds all of your audio for your Yoto player. This little Yoto player, while it can play some things without music because it does have Bluetooth and it also has a radio station that you can listen in on, um, is a little bit limited if you do not have these cards to go with them. So in today's video, I am going to go over all the information that you need to know about the Yoto card and then let you know what our favorite Yoto cards are. Before we get into the video, I did want to introduce myself. My name is Tara. I'm a mom of two boys, a two-year-old and a four-year-old, and I make Montessori and motherhood videos here on my channel. So if that's something that you may be interested in, if you've stumbled across my channel and you're interested in learning more about Montessori at home or you enjoy motherhood content, make sure you go ahead and check out my other videos. And please consider subscribing if you like this kind of content because I put out new videos every week. The first thing I want to do is go over the different categories of cards that you can purchase. Each card is a different color on the back and that color is determined based on the category of the card. So the different categories of cards that you can purchase from Yoto are stories, activities, sound effects, music, podcast, radio, and then they have the make your own card, which I love because if there is something that you cannot find on Yoto's store, they give you the ability to create your own card. On Yoto's website, they have different cards for different age ranges, which I really love. So they have a zero to five, a five to eight, and then an eight to 12 plus. So this allows you to go on there and search for a card that might be age appropriate for your kids. I really love that Yoto included that as a feature when you're searching for their cards. Another thing on their website that I really love is that you can purchase card packs. So if your kid is really into Disney princesses, you could purchase a Disney princess card pack and you save a little bit by purchasing all of those cards together. The Yoto cards also come in different languages. So they have English, French, Portuguese, and Spanish. The Yoto cards are the size of a credit card, which makes it really convenient when you're traveling or if you're looking for something to store them in. Yoto does have a few accessories on their website specifically to hold their cards, and we have a couple of them. The first one is this little travel case. It's just a little pouch that you can put, I think, like 10 or so cards in. This is perfect to, for my kids to take with them in the car when we're traveling so they have a place to put a few of their cards. But the item that we love the most is their actual card holder. This can hold up to 64 cards. And the reason why I love the Yoto brand version is because I feel like everything they do is created with kids in mind. Yoto has slanted the top of the card holder. It makes it so much easier for little hands to put these cards in and out. And I think that is just really a huge selling feature for purchasing their card case versus one off Amazon. For each of my kids, I'm going to give you their top three favorite cards. So these are just the cards that I see them putting in over and over and over again. So for my two-year-old, this may surprise some people because I feel like it shocks me what he chooses over and over again, but these are honestly the three cards that he is consistently choosing over and over again. The first one is Narwhal and Jelly's peanut butter and jelly card. He loves this story. The Narwhal and Jelly series is a hit with both of my kids, but this one in particular, he listens to all the time. He has it memorized. The next card actually has like some gunk on it because he <laughs> uses it so much is the My First 100 Words card. So this card is 100 words in five different languages, French, German, Spanish, Italian, and English. This is a great card because it's educational, he is learning different languages, and at two years old, it's really his favorite card. 
And the next card that is his favorite that also surprises me is Crackling Fire. It is exactly what it sounds like. It is just the sounds of a crackling fire with a little image of a crackling fire and he loves it. He puts it on all the time. I think it's more of like a white noise thing for him. Um, he will just put it on when he's playing and yeah, both of my kids love the crackling fire but I find that my two-year-old reaches for this one the most. Moving on, the top three favorite cards for my four-year-old are Kids Bop. Now we have three different Kids Bop cards and I would say he loves all three of them equally, but this is just the Kids Bop Greatest Hits card. We listen to this, I swear, almost every day. We really love Kids Bop. The next card that he loves to listen to is by Ladybird Audio Adventures and it's the Volcano cards. Now these Ladybird Audio Adventures, they have a whole series. They're really, really fun cards with different stories about all different things, volcanoes and rainforest and farm and the human body and they're educational cards but they have fun stories that go along with them and both my kids enjoy them but my four-year-old really likes listening to them and the Volcanoes one is his favorite. And the next card will be no surprise to anybody if you watch my channel, and that is a create your own card for Hot Wheels monster trucks. My four-year-old is really into Hot Wheels, loves the Hot Wheels monster trucks, and if you didn't know, Hot Wheels has their own monster truck soundtrack with a song for almost all of their monster trucks and we listen to that um, in the car from like Apple Music and my son has been asking if he can listen to these on the Yoto player for months and I finally got around to creating a create your own card for that. So this is his probably his top favorite card currently. If you're wondering how to make these create your own cards, I did create an entire video going step by step how to make create your own cards. So you could find that on my YouTube channel under the playlist Yoto and I'll also include a link for that video in my description box below. My three favorite cards are Helping Out by Smitty and Perk, Incredible Instruments, and then a Create Your Own card I made from the Lori Berkner band. They do have Lori Berkner now on the Yoto store, so you can purchase cards with her music on there, but when I created this, they didn't have any on the store at the time. The Helping Out card is one of my favorites because it's designed to help kids get moving and help around the house. There's a lot of fun songs on there that are about cleaning up or sharing, um, just really like great concepts that you're trying to keep teach your kids. But all the songs have like a really fun, happy vibe and my boys really love listening to this. So yeah, this is probably one of my top favorite cards. The Incredible Instruments card I love because it helps to teach kids about different instrument sounds and it's also just very soothing music because it's just like one instrument at a time. And then the Lori Berkner band, again we just really love her music so this is a hit with my kids. We listen to her music a lot. There's a few songs of hers that I really love. I wanted to end the video recommending one card from each category that if someone were to come up to me and say like what card should I get for music or stories what I would recommend. So the first one is stories and I picked out the pout pout fish. I picked this out because I love the stories that you can read along with books and they have quite a few of these. We have go dog go, the pout pout fish, brown bear brown bear. We have a few different ones where we actually have the books that go along with the stories and we can do those together. I really like that because I feel like it also encourages reading. So Pout Pout Fish is a great one if you haven't read that book. It's really cute. For podcasts, I recommend the Story Shed. I think this comes in their starter pack. My kids aren't really into listening to the podcast, but every so often we do put this card in. I think as far as kid podcasts go, this really is a good one. There's been a lot of great episodes that we've listened to, so I would give this a try. For the radio, we have Fun Kids Junior. It's radio for preschoolers. My kids listen to this a lot. It is a really fun radio station, so I would recommend this if you're looking for a radio card. If you're looking for sound effects, my boys really have loved the Things That Go sound effects card. If you have a kid that loves vehicles, transportation, this will probably be a hit for you. For activities, we just got this card. It's called Mindfulness Moments for Kids, Three Calming Activities. It's written in red by Kira Willy. If you have a kid that might enjoy doing some of these breathing and mindfulness activities, this could be a good option. And then for music, um, I already gave you my top recommendation, but another one that I want to mention is called 
Mrs. H Sings Songs, Dance, and Mischief. This is one of the first Yoto cards that we purchased and it has just been one of our favorites. It has such fun songs. Um, my kids really love them and it's not music that I've heard before so I liked that it was like some new music that we could put in there. They also have a second card for this called Mrs. H's Sing Along Band. So there are two Mrs. H's um, band cards I guess that you can get but we really enjoy the original one the most. That's all I have for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards are or what your kids favorite cards are. I love to hear from you guys and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that really helps out my channel and please consider subscribing if you aren't already subscribed because I make new videos just like this every week. I will see you in my next video. Bye!